I started this channel because I wanted to express the things that I see and the differences from the time that I literally stopped watching cable news or anything on television or even movies until recently when everyone was kind of forced to watch television or watch anything actually uh, because of everything going on right now and we literally have been watching everyone report on everyone else's reports and then of course there was a little matter of my own health keeping me convalescing for some time but don't get me distracted <laughs> Well, the barrage of utter nonsense that came across my feed this morning reminded me of just another reason that I stopped watching cable, television, movies, anything to begin with. I'm going to read you a little article here from the BizPack Review, which NewsGuard gives it a high passing grade. It's in the green up there. Uh, I'm actually going to do another video about BizPack Review. Florida is dead to me. Actor John Leguizamo helps lead torrent of hate against folks in the Sunshine State. Wonderful. Why? Because the residents of Florida, including the countless Cuban refugees who fled socialist-styled oppression to seek sanctuary here, dared to commit the unforgivable sin of voting against policies that would have advanced others at their expense. Leftist like anti-Trump zealot John Leggy Weirdo is what I'm going to call him from now on, a Colombian immigrant who angrily tweeted Wednesday that Florida is dead to me and that he doesn't care anymore if the state's 21 plus million lemmings drive their golf carts into the ocean. His anger was over a Florida going red in the 2020 race. Other high profile leftists have been just as venomous in their rage over Florida citizens choosing to prioritize their own interests over those of say, elitist Hollywood celebrities like uh, Leggy Weirdo, who are worth millions upon millions upon millions of dollars. Of course, there's some tweets here. I'm not going to read those. Obviously, they're not sweet because the next line from the author says, such nice and tolerant people. As to claim that nobody likes Florida as of Thursday, results of the still ongoing 2020 election showed that over 68.5 million Americans and counting had, void had voted for President Donald Trump and 5.6 million had come from Florida. This means that outside of Florida, there are at least 62.9 million Americans who agree with the lemmings in the Sunshine State who also voted for Trump. And regarding those so-called lemmings, many of them are of Hispanic origin, just like Leggy Weirdo, and that makes leftists like him very angry. Okay. So, the very night of the election, the New York Times writer Ida Bay Wells, the creator of the discredited 1619 Project, argued that the term Latinos shouldn't exist anymore because Hispanics who support conservative policies and principles are white. Why does she get to determine that? Who do these people think they are? Now, my first complaint is this. Why is what he and people like him say news? Seems like every time I turn around these news outlets are parroting some celebrity. I only know of some of who some of these celebrities are because of news outlets repeating their utter disapproval of the president and anyone who supports him. Okay, we get it. You people hate the president. It's not news. 
It seems that this whole situation has given celebrities even less to do than most basement dwellers. So we are now privy to more of their bad ideas and hatred towards their fans. I don't know about you, but this kind of thing never worked when I was trying to sell my musical talents or working at any other venue for that matter. And I've done everything from insurance agent to bartender. Of course, no one controls my show or where I play and what I do or wear or say. So maybe that's the difference. Can you treat your clients no matter what your profession is? even a waiter, or an Uber driver, or whatever, with open disdain, especially after they've already paid you? I guess maybe you could. Hmm, does that strategy actually, though, work for any other field other than, other than ce celebrity ship? Because I have to say, uh, you may treat that person the first time that way, but they sure aren't going to come back. I know I wouldn't. So let me get this straight, okay? According to Wikipedia, Mr. Leggy Weirdo was born in Colombia, but is considered an American actor, comedian, screenwriter, and producer. Wow, quite the accomplishment for someone so oppressed. In other words, someone not from America. You know what I hear when I hear this type of rhetoric that's spewed by someone like John Leggy Weirdo? I came to this country for freedom and became more privileged than I could ever have dreamed of. But you other peasants that came here for the same reason, you're not allowed to express your freedoms, especially if you don't agree with me or you don't think like me. In other words, I got mine, but nobody else is entitled to get theirs. <sighs> Thank God he's not actually in charge of anything. After hearing what this actor says about his own demographic, how fair do you think he would be to someone that's not there in his demographic? Can you say Uncle Ruckus? Uh -uh, attention, please, attention, please. My name is Uncle Ruckus, no relation. I want to sing y'all a brand new song I just wrote called Don't Trust Them New N Over There. Now, back when I decided to ignore the media and all its lackeys in the, in the 90s, I thought about it this way. This is what came to mind that finally one of them made me decide to just give this up. I thought about it this way. We pay their salaries. We buy their products, most of which they only put their names on for the royalties, which means money. We buy the products that they are paid handsomely to hawk to the masses. You don't think that money just comes from the company. Which you know they probably wouldn't be caught dead using these products that they're hawking to us anyway. And we pay absolutely obscene amounts of money to go to their movies, their concerts, uh their shows, whatever else that they may be doing, especially in most ca and, and, and in most cases, these movies and things disappoint, especially lately with all the lecturing and virtual signaling. We're actually paying for this. We're paying to be lectured on how horrible we are. Now, don't get me wrong. I used to love Mr. Leggy Weirdo. He was fabulous in Tu Wong Fu. I absolutely adored him in that movie. I adored all those guys in the movie. That was awesome. And I will never forget his voiceover of Sid the Sloth. I mean, nobody else could have done that, I don't think. He's like the Robin Williams of that character. Thankfully, I got to enjoy it before I knew how much of a bigot he was. It actually amazes me of how many of my favorites are turning into complete bigots and haters. To me, it just goes to show you that money, fame, and fortune doesn't guarantee humility, tolerance, and even intelligence. But again, don't get me distracted. Comments and thoughts like this from these celebrities to me seem to be one of the reasons why I believe that YouTube got so popular so quickly. Most folks on YouTube are real folks that are expressing their creativity and not some reality TV script that always seems to agitate people and situations just for the ratings. 
People don't live like that, and they seem to be kind of tired of watching artificially aggravated confrontations. Not only were these pretenders for a living pumping out mega advertisements and product placement films, acting like and professing in the many promo interviews they do that they actually mean something to the characters. Come on, you're acting. Big deal. But then they actually go around if audiences don't like their work. They blame the audiences for not liking their work. And then still demand that we pay attention to their every move and every syllable. While telling you, you can't have the things that they have. Frankly, I'm way too busy working on my own life. I don't need nor do I want your life. Or yours and mine, actually, for that matter. You don't pay my bills. So, and of course, besides your job, you eat, drink, sleep, and defecate just like the rest of us mammalians on this planet. Big friggin' deal. And most of the time, especially lately, you're either demanding something of your fans or you're belittling them. Anytime I actually listen to any of you, you sound like whiny little brats whose ideas would whose ideas would literally wipe everything off of the map except for what you like. It's like this, folks, especially you celebrities out there. What have you done for us lately? Okay, you're a good actor. Why does that make anyone else obligated to listen to you, much less heed your advice, much less for the rest of your entire lifetime? Who died and put you in charge of this stuff? You're not in charge, actually, and you don't live anyone else's life. From what I know about show business, you're not even in charge of your own life. So, what makes you so qualified to dismiss folks, especially and even your own? Me thinks thou protest too much, actually. Maybe before judging these folks that you have no idea who they are, talk to some of them, listen to some of them. I'm originally from Miami myself, and I had a ton of Hispanic friends, some of which fled from the horrors of communism in Cuba, where no one but the folks in charge have any freedoms. Mr. Leggy Weirdo has been here with his privilege his entire life, and he knows not of what he speaks, but I'm sure that all these fine people with, will confer with him the next time on their decisions. Don't hold your breath, though, there, Johnny. I do hope you enjoyed my video today. If you'd like to support my work, I'm told that the best thing that you can do is share my videos. I would appreciate a like, subscribe, comment, and of course the ultimate would be a, don a donation. Don't forget to click that notification bell. I have a P.O. box also listed below in case you want to send me something and you're not on PayPal. All my links are below and thank you in advance. Thank you so much for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.